And now we're going to get linking working. Um, so in order to do linking, we're going to need to fix this so that they update correctly. Uh, we're going to need to just push in the linking here. At this point, um, it actually does make a lot of sense for this to be abstracted out. So I can start to make like some, some good utils. Um, I'm probably going to do a whole bunch of abstraction and cleanup and like ripping things out into other utils in a separate video. Um, there's just a lot of that ne that needs to happen. Uh, in the long term, this API is going to need to change a little bit. I want to be able to say like, you should be able to prefix or you should be able to apply operations across the text of a final node. Um, so rendering stuff out to Markdown is a really good example of this, of like, hey, it would be nice to be able to take all of uh, Markdown or something, to, to take a bunch of nodes and just automatically convert them to Markdown. But that should be a separate utility. That shouldn't be something, absolutely should not be something that happens automatically. Because you might not want to do Markdown. You might want to do like an org mode format. I'm doing this whole at to do thing, but you might want to do something like that. And then you could pull these out and stick them in like just straight up an org mode file. You might want to do something, you might want to write your notes in pure HTML. You might want to use a different markup generator than I have bundled. That's a, a thing that annoys me about documentation libraries is like, if there's a variant of mark markdown that that you want to use, like you can't really, <laughs> you're kind of stuck. Um, so there's going to need to be some abstraction. So for right now, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about abstraction right now. I'm just gonna copy out a bunch of this stuff. Holy crud. Now, here's where things get interesting. So I can pull out the ID and the text. Easy enough to do. What I wanted to be able to do is support like the at to do syntax where it's like, okay, this is a text node that's linked to at to do. This is a text node that is linked to another text node that's linked to at to do. Um, and that might seem counterintuitive. But um, what you eventually want to be able to support is stuff like this. You want you want people to be able to stick all of this in one block. And if it's already in a node, you want this to go into a separate node. So. So I need to be able to actually build a brand new node inside here, if that's the case. <clears throat> Just not crazy to do. We're basically saying, um, We're basically saying something like this, right? Again, this is like, you got to extract a whole bunch of this stuff out, abstract it. But it's like, yeah. I'm not going to worry about this for right now. I'm just going to leave this sort of commented out and say like, hey,
it's a little bit weird, right? Because you'll end up with a completely, like in a line like this, I'll end up with a completely blank node. But what I can do as a convenience factor is when I'm done with this, like down, down at the point where I return index, I can also just say, You can basically just say, like, hey, if there are any blank nodes, let me just drop them, get rid of them. So... Um, just, just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to ignore... I'm going to, to ignore uh, following text for linking right now, but that is going to be something that I need to handle. Um, and what we basically need to do is just add them to the links, I guess, right? Like I've already got I've already got the index, so I can basically just say, Um, yeah, I can basically just add them, right? There's some other error checking inside here, which is, um... That's actually fairly important. Uh, if if a node is already linked to another node and you add it twice, i.e. you do something like this should not show up. In fact, maybe this should even give you a warning and be like, hey, this node is already linked. I don't know. I don't know how strict I'm going to be with error checking, honestly. Like, I could just allow that and be like, well, I'm not going to do anything. It's already linked. But, um... This is also where, like, you start to question, like, is this too much that you have to iterate over this entire key of links? I mean, I I don't think this is ever going to be a problem. Honestly. I, I'm trying to think of what example documentation would be. I'm, I'm not, not just in terms of, like, projects I'm doing, but, like, big projects, even even projects that are like hundreds and hundreds of files. I'm thinking about those and thinking like how many links actually exist for something like an at deprecated. Like I'm thinking about the code base that I use at work. That is so many files, like tons and tons. I don't know if it's if it's in the thousands or not, but um even then this is not going to be that expensive I don't think I I think I'd need to see some evidence 
to say that that this is a problem before before I decide to to gimp the entire format. Because even if it is a problem, like I can cache this stuff. I can iterate over and internally, like if I'm if I'm linking or something, I can make sure that I'm only iterating over this stuff once. There's there's tons of performance benefits I can get back fairly easily from this. So I'm not going to worry about it. Do I check both of them? Th this should be totally unnecessary. That should be totally unnecessary, but it's just safer to do it that way. So now we'll only add an index once. That does mean that order can change. Like if I do at A, at B, at A, this will stay in the same order. Adding this extra A won't like move it to the end or something. Which is something I could do. I could rip it out and add it to the end, but I think that that's probably, this is probably an error. Honestly, what I probably should do here is just throw an error at you and basically say, like, throw What the heck? Emacs, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Whatever. I don't know if it's better to be permissive or not there. Um, for right now, I'm going to be permissive. That is likely going to change. I feel like explicit errors are probably better for something like this. I don't know. There's there's some stuff to think about there. Uh, the other thing I want to do, because this should not be order dependent, so you might name a node after you've already linked it, linked to it or from it from other nodes. And if that's the case, then... Um, then I do want to update that stuff. So I want to say, um, yeah, yeah, okay, for every single one of my links, I need to update my own, and I need to update the other one. So it's not even just for each. On this, I need to find the relevant index in the other one. Um, the other thing I'm thinking down here is I should be creating nodes if they don't exist yet, right? Like, because you, you shouldn't need to define an at deprecated, and I'm assuming right now that they already exist. So if you've got a node right here and it's linking to another node, I already need to deal with making a new node. So maybe it is actually time to start extracting this stuff out, making general utilities.
Yeah, this is almost definitely like the point when you start to say like, listen, this needs to be abstracted out into other stuff. Does not have a location, actually. I'm trying to think about like what, what would be the basic things for this, and it wouldn't have a location. Like If you went and you were like, where is the deprecated ID defined? It wouldn't have a location. Um, and this goes back to this idea of updating existing nodes. Um, there should be rules about it. There should be rules when you're allowed to do it, when you're not allowed to do it. But you should basically be able to merge on top of existing nodes. Because then later on, like you might use deprecated all over the place. And then later on, you might define something that is a deprecated tag. And when that happens, you're just going to like wipe out all of these links. So there's already a bug here. There's already like, as I'm writing this, a bug here, which is like, So there's a couple of things to look at here. Um, I want to take a second and think, like, which one do I want to get started with first? I mean, no matter what, I'm going to need to update links up inside here. Um, so let's just do this. No, that's not the case. I don't need to update my links. The node I just created, I don't need to update my links. I just need to update them for everything else that exists. Okay. Array dot replace is a method, right? I don't have to do something dumb with slice here, do I? Really? Really? Okay, I guess I do need to. All right, fine. Fine. Yeah, there's so much stupid cleanup stuff that needs to happen here. Don't need to replace any of mine because 
if my node is already linked to another thing and the name changed, like whatever, like their name didn't change, only mine did. Um, I do need to replace theirs. This is a super ugly way of doing it. I'll, I'll probably abstract all of this stuff out into separate utility functions. That's going to be next video. I don't care about it right now. Up here, I need to fix that bug down there. So I need to basically say if Yeah. This is super hacked together and bad. Extract all this stuff out, but I'll do it later. Okay. If a node doesn't exist, create it. If you link a node before you create it, links will get overwritten. No, they won't. I have a bug fix for that up here. Allow merging. Um, and now we get into the kind of like, what should we do? And I think that's an important question I think that that's like a very error prone thing that you can have happen to you where you create a node and then later on you redefine the node and um, that should get caught that should get caught and it should throw some sort of either an error or at least a warning that's probably something that I'm going to implement once I separate all these functions out and I'm not copying and pasting all this code all over the place but right now For right now, I just want to see if this is working at all. Um, and I have no idea what this is ultimately gonna... Like, I would be very surprised if this is bug-free. But, like, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm also not 100% sure what the order of these resolution is going to be. Let me think about that. The first thing it's going to get is a source block. It's going to create the source block, then it's going to create the link. Okay, cool. Cool. What I want is something that looks like this. And if that works, that will be a significant achievement, given that I've not tested this and it's probably very buggy. All right, cool, did not work. Inside of links, I have an object. Oh no, this should be an array. Nothing got linked, and then the other one did not get created. All right, we have learned something about ourselves. IDs still work, though. Nothing blew up with IDs, so that's a good starting point. But what, what did happen here? 
links needed to be an array. It bothers me that that didn't get pretty printed out. Well, I mean, it's not like I can't change that either. Since we are actually using a nice JSON format, let's actually make use of it. What the heck are we doing? Oh. Who names the JSON function stringify? Cool. So now that actually gets pushed out. Um, links did not get created at all. So what what happened in here, actually? I did these in the complete opposite direction. What did we get back? Links are still not being created. At the very least, at the very least, are we getting them back correctly? No, this is actually never getting hit. Why? I'm making a link here, right? Yep, at link. That won't change if I switch to multi-line, will it? Maybe there's an error with how I'm parsing stuff. Maybe the reason that was working was, uh... No, okay. This is not an error in my parsing. Oh, you're blarg, you're blarg. Yeah, let's just finish that off. All right, cool. None of that code is getting hit. We don't have a case at. Oh, crud, we're returning from a switch statement. Yeah, okay, we want to, though. We absolutely, totally want to. Take a quick look at this. I'm surprised that nothing else broke because of that. Seems like, whoa, okay, cool. Links work. Links work. All right. Sort of. Sort of. This is the most basic test possible um now we are going to test the same thing where you're linking to existent nodes
All right, so we're doing at link. And then down here, we are creating link. No, and then we are creating um, so that does that did not actually work correctly. Okay, so we are part of the way there, though. Cannot read property links of undefined. Where exactly do we care about this? Index link dot links. Well, we should have already. created this what exactly is happening here let's let's get a quick overview of what's what's getting updated So that's getting called twice, which it should not be getting called twice. Let's also check and see what the index looks like at that point. All right, so. Oh, I want to turn off all my other tests. Can I do that quick? This is the only downside I have with, with these testing things, is I w often want to just, like... Grab, like, everything and just be like, No, you no longer exist. Let's get this run with more detail. Okay, perfect. So now we only have one. What else do we have here as a console.log? Oh. Get rid of that. So, the first thing we're looking at is we have an array with one link in it, and our link goes to negative zero. And we're the one getting updated. Oh, we don't need to update the other one. We need to update us. Does that make sense? Link already exists at that point. 
Link already exists at that point, and it's linked to negative zero. And what I need to update myself to is the new key, the new ID. Because my ID should be Yeah. What? My ID is totally, totally wrong. That is weird. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's fine. I've got a link and I've got an ID. Both of them have been created correctly. I need to merge and, and fix these nodes before I delete and move them over. No, still not that great. What's it what's it yelling about here though? 166. Which is still right here. But this has not been moved at this point. I ought to just like throw this in a Chrome. This is this is going to end up being the next project after this is I need better debugging tools for Node.js. Chrome has this thing that sort of works where you like link things into their debug tools. And it's kind of like you launch it from the command line and it's a little bit messy and it it's not what I want. Um I need some way for Emacs to like spin up and connect to DevTools and like have this stuff built into Emacs. Because this bug would be like super quick to fix if I could just step through a, a stack trace. What the heck are you talking about? Because index link should exist at this point. Let's let's take a quick look at this. Oh crud. Dumb dumbness all over the place. Everything is dumb. All right. Okay, at least it still fails. I'd feel really bad about things. <laughs> All right, things sort of worked, but not really. So we are updating link, and what we currently have is underscore zero. Link is link? What? But the... Mm. There's something very wrong about that line right there because this is what I want to target. I want to target underscore zero. That's the one whose name just changed. And that's targeting link inside here, which is what I want it to target.
And I'm not actually calling index of... Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is the type of stuff that would be super easy to solve if I had a, if, if I had a uh, stack trace. Stack trace. Um, This kind of stuff. All right, there we go. Took long enough. But apparently I am capable of programming if I get rid of some of these idiocies. Um, so that is a lot of progress right there. How much progress? What else do I want to check for? Let's make sure I haven't broken anything else. All right, I haven't. Um, what else do I want to check for? So I can link something and then give it an ID later, and that'll work correctly. Um, there is a bug here that it's going to rip out the text. That's going to be something I fixed during refactoring. Let's just to make sure that stuff is actually... Let's just make sure that all of this is actually fine. Let's just do like a really complicated like set of things. So we have like three blocks here and they're just sort of calling each other in random orders and that should be fine. And in fact, just to make things fun, let's move three up here. And what this should give us is, give me just a sec. Should be something that looks like that, right? Um, and there's nothing specific that I'm testing for. I just want to like do something complicated and see if it works. Oh. And as long as I type things correctly.
All right, so things blew up, so this is not actually perfect yet. Um, we are looking at line 196, which is actually all the way down. Whoa, so this broke someplace new. This broke someplace in a novel, in a novel place, specifically right here. We can't read links of undefined. So we've got an at, and the key is wrong. Why is the key wrong? Whoa, well, where am I setting key? Well, that would be it, because I'm looping over the index, and at that point, the key has actually changed. So that's the problem. This is getting hung up right here, which is that if um, if I have a key and I change it to a different one, I give it a separate ID, and then I try to link it, it's still going to be using the old key. So I, I really actually need to update in place. I can't just do object.keys and then iterate over. Well, I add keys to this all the time. And I'm going to be manipulating those keys. So I do want to use object.keys because a whole bunch of stuff is going to get added to the end of this. And it's going to be things that don't have any text. Well, does it matter then? Like, yeah, I can update an array in place while I'm working on it. Like, that's not a problem. Um. Ah. Uh, I am actually not 100% sure. If this is something that I want to do in place, because that array, like, okay, so I've moved it over. I could replace it with a blank node, like, do, but that wouldn't actually be useful. I could, I could replace it with something, but that's really clunky and bad. I don't actually want to do that. Um, I mean, updating the array in place would not be the end of the world. It would just be a lot less clean that, okay, now you've got this ID change but it did actually change um hmm <laughs> I don't know what I want to do about that I don't know. Um. I'll this this is a type of bug that I want to fix once I start abstracting stuff out, I think. Although I'm not sure abstracting the stuff out is not going to do anything to fix with the, to fix this bug. At the end of the day, I'm still going to have a node that changed and something inside here 
inside of this index thing right in here. Either they're doing this delete index key or something like that. Like I'm either going to need to leave that as a new node type or something and, and tell it to redirect, which is like really sloppy and bad. Or I'm going to need to modify that array. I don't know, but um, I need to think about it a little bit more. So I'm going to turn off this uh, video, and we'll probably have one last video of just a little bit of bug fixing and cleanup. Um, but then I, I kind of want to jump into abstracting this stuff out and making some utilities. All right.